I recently made a rather glowing initial review for the Regal Makaku Katana from Bud K. Now it's time for a full review. Firstly, they come in these fantastic sword boxes. Here are the stats. The taper is listed as 7 to 5 millimeters, the point of balance a whopping 7 inches, and we'll come back to those. It's solidly constructed with antique fittings. We have macaque monkeys here on blossoming plum trees for good luck and protection from evil. And the Damascus patterns are gorgeous, and it doesn't really come razor sharp, but I expected that. But it wasn't until watching my impressions video that I noticed something funky. You see that? Yeah. We'll come back to that too. Now it's time for more cutting. Nice. Now my initial criticism was that the Saya didn't fit super tight. No big deal. So this was my first conclusion. But after scrutinizing and handling the katana a while, it's time for more cutting. I really should buy more tatami mats. Okay, not bad. Let's take another look at that. Boom. Okay, not as good. It's not like it can't cut. Just finish it off already. Here's another box just like it. And it came apart, collapsing on itself. There we go. Dang, I guess cardboard is a match for this sword. But here's what I came to talk about. The blade flares at the tip. Remember the taper was listed from 7 to 5 millimeters and the 7 inch point of balance? Yeah. This makes it feel like a steel bar in the hand, wearing out my wrist really quickly. But let's compare it to a sharpened 15th century arming sword. Let's see if the $25 I paid is worthwhile. Holy Jesus. Yeah, that goes through pretty well. And that was just as good, but did you hear it cut the air? So the price is reasonable, Damascus steel beautiful to look at, and it's solidly constructed with antique um, fittings. So knowing all this, would you still recommend it? If you don't mind the flared tip, it's a fantastic piece of art to add to your collection. Now here's a cat for no reason. Here kitty kitty. Kitty!